Folks, I'm going to run a test real quick. I've got a set of uh, modified Midland um, two-way radios. And the way I've modified these is I've put a uh, toggle switch on top that is, instead of having a momentary talk button, this is an always on talk button. So if you want to not have to sit there and hold this to talk, you can just hit that and it's always on. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run a test with these things. And uh, I have this Canon um, HFS20 camcorder and I've got a, a cable. Can you zoom in on that? I've got a cable that has this on both ends. Okay, I'm going to plug this into the microphone jack on the camera. And I'm going to plug this into the speaker or the headphone jack on one side of my two-way radio. Can you see that there? Focus on that, please. Never mind then. Anyhow, let's just give this a test and see what happens. Plugging in the uh, microphone to the camera. Testing one. Oh, this is working beautifully. I can see the on the level indicator. One, two, three. Let's check the quality of the sound coming through the Midland two-way radios. I just showed you how to create your own wireless microphones. Very cheap. Hey, folks, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a wireless microphone system very, very cheaply on your um, Handycam, okay? First of all, to do this, your Handycam must have a microphone input, all right? You've got to have a Handycam that has that, Um if you don't have that, then you won't need this, this wire that goes to it. But okay, what I've got here is I've got a pair of two-way radios, all right? These cost $27 for the set, all right? What you do is you take your wire. You've got a male and male wire, okay? you got male on both ends. Take one of them and make sure... Okay, we've got our volume. We'll take we'll take one of them and plug it into the speaker hole, which is mostly for a headphone, on that end of it, on one walkie-talkie. Take the other end and we'll plug it into our microphone in on our camera. Okay? Now, what you want to do with your walkie-talkie here that you've got plugged into your camera is turn the volume down to the low setting of one. Okay? Turn it down to one because anything any higher will just uh, be distorted coming through the when it's recorded on the camera. So, okay, now what you want to do is you want to have your radio set to the same channel and go ahead and start recording something. All right. Well, you take the other walkie-talkie and you go across the park or whatever to play a prank prank on somebody or whatever you know you see these videos where these guys are doing this you got uh, Ed Bassmaster and um, what's Jack Vale and Uncle John and other people do this with with a uh, high dollar wireless microphone systems hidden inside their clothes or whatever well all you gotta do is have this walkie-talkie hidden inside of your pocket or whatever with a microphone a lapel mic hidden inside your shirt or whatever or even just hold the dog on cue button to talk while you're doing your prank on somebody or whatever or you can just use it as a wireless mic in case you want to create a video far away from your camera your recording source so push your button down and 
whenever you push your button down and talk, that is the only time that your camera is going to record audio. Okay, when you're not pushing the button on your transmitting uh, handset, there's not going to be any audio picked up from your external microphones. Your oh, your built-in your built-in microphones on your camera. The only way you can get those microphones here to activate again is to unplug that from the system or from the camera itself. Now this has been tested, and uh, I'm going to show you a test of it right here. On Lunatic's channel. Okay, folks, I'm fixing to get out here and get in the car and go down to the end of the road and make this movie for you. On the way out here at the car, the camera is up on my front porch, and I'm sure that you can still hear me. But I'm going to let off the button for a minute, get in the car, and go even farther down the road. Now I'm in the car and I'm backing up. It's very cold here today. It's about 30 degrees, but when I woke up it was about 25 degrees. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be in the right spot for this, but... Now I'm down at the end of the street, and you ought to be able to hear me just perfectly over this cheap wireless microphone setup that I've created, and I'm showing you on Lunatic's channel. Bye now. Uh, poor man's wireless microphone system. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this one, and I'll be right there in just a second. I'm coming around the corner when I come. I'm coming around the corner when I come. Here I come, here I come, around the corner when I come. I'm coming around the corner, here I come. Let's see. Can y'all see me coming around the corner? Here I come. Yes, that's me coming around the corner. Okay, folks, see y'all later. See, I told you I was barefooted. Hey there, folks. Uh, on this video, I'm going to show you how to modify your two-way radio so you can have an always on button so you can have a, a hands-free talk you won't have to sit there and hold this button down to talk okay I've already done this side of it and as you can see right here I've got a toggle switch that when you push that it's always on okay as you can see, it's transmitting <laughs> transmitting to the other one. Anyhow, you do not have to push the button. But if you want to use the button, you can. You can still use the button, or you can just do the toggle. Test the one, test the one. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what you need. Of course, you're going to need a soldering tool. And you need something that's got a pretty good precision point on it. Um, you're going to need some solder. Some I, What I use is lead-free uh, rosin core solder. Okay? And then the next thing you're going to need for this is uh, you're going to need two toggle switches, okay? Gonna, I'm going to do each radio. So this is what I went and got. It's a little two-pole. As you can see, there's only two poles there two connections you're going to use two wires and uh, this is the switch that I went and got be back in a little bit with the next step alrighty folks next thing I'm going to do is I go ahead and prep my uh, switch with my little piece, pieces of wire go on ahead and let me, let me zoom in on there go on ahead and uh, solder your pieces of wire to your switch right now Okay, next step, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, the next thing you want to do is go on ahead and open up your your unit 
and uh, figure out where you're going to mount your switch. Okay, I've already done this with the other one. I figured out where there's enough room for all the stuff to be inside. And uh, go ahead and mark it. Okay, with a mark it with a marker. That's where you're going to need to uh, drill your hole for the switch to go through. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a drill and I'm going to drill that out right there. See that where that hole is? I'm going to drill that out and half my hole is going to be on this side of the case and half of it is going to be on the other side. So I'm going to drill right down in the center of that crack. Be right back in a second. Okay, see I've got my hole drilled. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you get a drill bit that's the size of the shaft on your toggle switch that uh, your paperwork will tell you or your wrapper will tell you what you need. Now, next thing, just go on ahead and open the, open the unit up, put your switch in there where it's going to go. Hang on, be right back. Okay, that's where the switch is going to go. Now, on this particular uh, two-way, I've got one contact right there that I need to solder one wire to, and then when you flip this over, let's just see, this is, locate your button. That's the button that you use to talk right there. Okay? Push the button. So, I'm gonna solder one wire to that contact, then I'm gonna pull it out, and I'm gonna solder the other wire to the contact on the other side. That's both sides of that switch. So I'm just tying into that switch with this switch, okay? And once I've soldered that together, then uh, be back after that. Okay, I've got the uh, one wire. I've got one of the wires soldered right here, as you can see, into half of that switch right there. Now we'll flip it over. And we'll take this other wire and we'll solder it in right there. Right in there. Okay? Be back in a minute. Okay, now I'm soldered in on both sides. What I'll do next is go ahead and you know push push the wires around a little bit to where it'll allow me to go ahead and mount that switch right there where I need it to go all right now that's where I need the switch to go right there so I'll hold that in place and go ahead and push the wires down and make sure that none of the wires are touching each other and uh, we'll go ahead and reassemble the, the radio Oops, take our regular our, our regular talk button and put it on there. And then we will put it back together. Be right back. Okay, as you can see, we've got it back together. And it uh, switches in place where it's going to be, and it's functional. But before we go ahead and put our screws and all that back in, we want to go ahead and place our battery in there and uh, test her out. Because ain't nothing worse than to put all your screws back in and have it not work correctly. So we'll uh, we'll give her a test. Test one, test one. We've got our other machine here. Test one, test one, test one. Test one, test one. Push the button, push the button. Testing, testing. All right, good to go, y'all. Now the last step that we'll do is we'll go ahead and put our screws in the case, you know, to uh, 
fasten the case together and then we will put our retainer our retainer uh, fastener on the top of there and tighten it up and then this job's done uh, hope you enjoyed it fixing your radio the way you want it Radio Shack will allow you to modify a lot of things if you know how to do it you can get the parts from them bye okay well I'm back again just to say one more thing about it now my uh, two-way radio has a dual talk button one that you just push and it's you know it's, it's momentary just as long as you're holding it you can talk or you can flip this one and you can talk as long as it's on the other uh, you know anyhow whatever uh, I did both sides of this both radios for a total of about six dollars and some change all right bye